at the latest, then we give people 15 minutes uh, to connect to the other webinars. Is that okay, Mary? Mary, you raised that issue, so I would like your guidance. Mary? Uh, I can't hear. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Um, I, I, I think the budget reading is at 2.30. Hello, we're having challenges hearing you. So is, okay. is 10.45 okay to stop? Yes, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Good. Okay. So Daisy, yeah. So let's uh, let's we can do it earlier depending on the agenda. But uh, latest we should stop by ten forty-five. So we'll be watching Great. the clock. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Irene. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Irene Gafenji, and we have the year two team and USAID. For the year two team, I think I want to recognize Bernard uh, Domo, who is the mentor responsible for you. Of course, you have Daisy, who's leading this meeting. Fred is also on board. Um, we have Mother and Mariam, um, and we have Felicia from USA. Because of time alone, it's allow Felicia to say hello. Alicia. Yes, Yes. thank you, Irene. Good morning, everyone. I think I'm the only one from USA here today, uh, but looking forward to participating in the discussion. Sorry, I'll need to leave a little bit early because I have a, another meeting that starts at around 9.30. Yeah, but glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, this morning, we are going to focus on uh, completing um, the rollout plan and actually making sure that we dot all the T's and cross all the I's in terms of the rollout of the social mobilization plan that we've been talking about in the last two sessions. And we are glad to say that USAID, Felicia, and uh, Roseanne have provided comments on key messages. Remember, we worked on key messages and we discussed it at length um, at the last session. And the, the comments that they provided are all um, we are all able to deal with them because they have proposed that we add an extra objective, uh, focusing on the fact that we are out to not only tell people about what we are doing and also tell them about the co-creation workshop, but also uh, inviting them to be members of these LDOs, uh, of this LDO specifically. And then, of course, the, the, the fact that you need to change a bit of language to focus on what the benefits are for the person we are speaking to, not just what the organization is doing, but the people listening must hear what is in it for them. And also um, of an encouragement to simplify the language further, so that at least everybody can be able to hear and be able to comprehend what you're talking about. And I think that is something that is going to be ongoing, particularly when we even start uh, exploring, talking in the vernaculars when, when you're talking to the people about what you're doing. Those are the comments and those are all doable. Um, so I think we're not going to spend time on the key messages here. We are going to start the process of, uh, of finalizing the rollout. Daisy, over to you. Thank you very much, Irene. And uh, we will then share the the key messages that once it once we have reviewed and revised based on the USAID feedback and what uh, we discussed last week. So thanks for that. So today, um, for the purposes of those who maybe did not attend uh, the last few sessions, I'd just like to summarize what where we have uh, come from. And it's true that um, it's true that uh, <laughs> Isaac is saying we've really come a long way. This is the 10th session. And for the last few sessions, we have been discussing 
discussing about the social mobilization strategy towards the LDO formation. And uh, so far, at least we have a strategy and now we want to see how we, we are going to roll out. So we have the key messages, we've discussed the communication channels and tools, we've discussed um, uh, the stakeholders we're going to reach. And last week, we particularly looked at um, the, the, the target stakeholders per organization and what activity they are going to, to do. And um, we also looked at a form that will help us capture the stakeholders that we meet uh, during this exercise and capture their views. And we all validated that tool, uh, which was good. And um, finally, so today we are going to lay down the strategies for organization. For example, if you gave us uh, the highest was 330 stakeholders to be targeted for the next two weeks to be to be mobilized and communicated to so we need to know how you're going ab about that yeah so um to just start with this presentation so some of the key outputs actually the three key outputs now that we want from we would like to see from this meeting is one um so different organizations here from the 14 work in different sectors. Some are multi-sectoral, but uh, so most of them are different sectors. And also we have those cross-cutting organizations. So what we want to achieve today is to just cluster the organization per sector, and those cross-cutting sectors can be included in each sector. So for inclusivity in discussions and to ensure that no sector is left out. And also number two is to determine the targeted stakeholder database availability. For example, at least what I know, Isaac from Eradica, you sent a list of 52 organizations in Kuresoi South you are working with. So at least that we are sure there is a list for Kuresoi South that Eradica is going to target. So what about these other organizations? Do you have a list? If you don't have a list, how do you, uh, how do you intend to get one? What support would you need? And how long will it take you for you to get a list so that you can and um, start mobilizing them. And sometimes you might think maybe you don't need a list, you just want to go out there and mobilize whoever stakeholder you meet and note them down. So that is some of the discussion that we will have today. Then finally, which I've, I've bolded is um, that from this meeting really we really have to come up with clear timelines the strategies the communication tools and channels i know we discussed this but it can vary from one organization to the next chris from uh, black coffee might uh, prefer maybe social media because of his coverage the youth but uh, someone like lorraine working with farmers might uh, prefer different tool altogether. So we're going to discuss this in our groups and agree. And then finally, of course, um, see how we can leverage on the on the on the consortium members. Most of you also stated the number of consortium members they have. Others have no consortium members uh, currently. So how are you going to work with everyone else within your uh, within this group to to leverage on 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 the skills? and and actually the, the strength that they have in the community. So the next slide, uh, so this is the slide and we shared yesterday in the hope that uh, you will go through it and just tell us whether we have placed you in the right um, sector. So, and I just want to explain a few organizations. Um, I know Acts of Faith and Farm Systems uh, work together, but um, they, were, they also work in a lot of, I lost my presentation. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but we yes. can't see the presentation. Mm. OK, let me try to reshare. Can't see it. Can see yeah. it. Yes. Great. Sorry about that. Yeah, so. Um, yeah that is where we were so yeah so acts of faith so i i placed farm systems under agriculture and left acts of faith under health so those are some of the um points i want to hear whether i did we did it correctly from our ends 
and then we can proceed. We can take a few minutes for each organization. If it's okay where you are placed, then that's fine. But if you need like needy or mention that they are more in OVC and uh, health than they are in education. So we are going to change where needy is to, so they, they'll go to the first um, group under Fred, that is health. So how this is done, uh, we've put a different team leaders from our year two team. So Fred will, will lead the, the, the year two team the health sector and lead the agriculture and Bernard will lead, lead the education sector with other team members in there. This is because we want maximum participation from you and so we will be taking the notes and share later. So today, Chris, you just participate, we'll, we'll help you with your secretarial roles and we'll share the no consolidated notes with you later for the minutes. And for Felicia, who is not anywhere, you can choose to, uh, you can see which which group to, to fit into. You are at liberty to choose any. So yes, uh, Chairman, you can help me in coordinating and just making this sectors and groupings valid over to you chair Malonza. okay yeah so thank you daisy for that and for taking the the initiative to first uh, create these teams uh, so that we can give feedback um just for my organization Uradica, we are in the right team um we principally only do health so we are in the right place. So maybe for that cluster, let's uh, ask if the other team members who are already listed there uh, feel that they are in the right place. Um, I see smart ladies are here. Hassan. Hassan. Uh, yeah, I think we are placed in the right place. Okay. Hello. Yes, we can hear you, Hassan. Yeah. I'm okay with the placement. With them, okay. Acts of faith um, is not there, but uh, yeah. Doctor uh, Knott, you are there. Sure. Actually, actually, just to clarify, you know, Acts of faith is uh, is is the bigger network where we are in a six organizations. So really, there isn't an organization called Acts of Faith. But just to clarify there, I think uh, in health, one of our members who is actually in health is, uh, is an entity called Anglican Development Services, ADS. They run quite a few uh, health centers, dispensaries. So I think I would recommend um, Anglican Development Services there, and I, I can communicate to them that they participate in that area. Uh, okay, so we we've noted that, and uh, we have okay, and um, and where you are, farming systems is in the right place, isn't it? Yes, we're in the right place. Probably the other the other entity I'll mention about is um, NCCK and uh, CJPC, who I think can come to governance and, 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 and uh, that, that's all very So I'll, I'll mention those two, NCCK and uh, CJPC can uh, come to governance and uh, economic empowerment and youth matters. Okay, okay, thank you. And um, there were all those cross-cutting groups there that will be everywhere. So maybe some of your um, religious groups are cross-cutting. So we may want to include them across um, uh, sectors. And if there are several, maybe we can agree who goes to which, uh, which under which group. Okay, Young African Women Initiative, are you there? I don't know this yes. group is under, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Mariam, go ahead. Yes, we are, and I feel we are rightly blessed. We work with women and girls. Um, Moira works with youth and also do economic empowerment. Okay, okay, good. Nana Meduba, um, are you there? Uh, 
haven't seen their representative on. Um, so maybe we don't have them on board. Okay, so let's go to the yeah. agriculture. Yes. Oh, we wanted to add that we can also do governance. Okay. We also, yeah, we also in peace, security, and governance. Okay. Yeah, the cross cutting, the cross cutting uh, areas. Okay, so uh, YRAF will be on the cross cutting uh, area as well as some of the faith group uh, based groups. Okay, Starlight Joseph. Yes, okay, we are rightly placed because we are Starlight, we majorly do agriculture. Yes, oh. thank you. Okay, <clears throat> super, uh, Mary. Mary? Oh, yes, okay. I, you are good. Okay. Yeah, but I also think uh, there the, the could be a cross cutting because of the youth and uh, the women. So, if the part of just agriculture, I think uh, because some of the focus associations are in, are, are in youth and women. So, I think that would also um, can also take up a few of those areas. Okay, okay, so this is catching that, so super also can be on the cross-cutting area. Okay, Youth Bunge, um, do we have Philip? On? Yes, Philip? Yes, yes, um, I'm here. I think uh, Youth Bunge is also Currently, we are doing um, a lot about education also. So, but we are cross cutting, yes. You are, you are cross cutting. Okay. Okay. Daisy, go back to the slide. Okay. And then, uh, Jawab, are you in the right place, Edward? Edward? Edward cannot find the unmute button, um, so we'll follow up. Okay, let's go to the education cluster. So um, just before I leave this, so youth bunge, you are also cross-cutting, so we've noted that. Okay, um, Kabazi are not on board. Oh, yes, Edward. Yeah, I was saying we are in the right place, women, youth, and economic empowerment is our basic area well affected or inevitably affected by climate change and governance. So that's more cross-cutting, okay. But you are placed currently on agriculture. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe Daisy think through how we are going to handle this cross-cutting group when we finish just with the education sector because a number of members are there. Uh, okay, Nidi, Nidi, we, yeah, you already said um, you are less in education. Um, so, Father Ogola? Yes, uh, we already raised that, so maybe you can move to health. Okay. You are more health. Okay. And then, uh, Nakuru County Tree Nursery Association, Joseph, uh, I don't know whether he's there, Gaido. I don't think he has joined. He has been having challenges joining these calls. Um, um, yeah, so we don't have that feedback. Okay, Nakuru West Network. Are they on board? Okay, Black Coffee. We placed you on education. Chris? Chris, are you there? That's okay. <laughs> You are good. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So maybe Daisy, uh, I don't know whether what you are thinking about how we handle this cross cutting because there is a number of partners in there. Um, yeah. 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 So uh, what actually the way it is, it can remain the way it is because the cross cutting um, organization can contribute. For example, the first one, Yawi and Lane Maduba, one, Lane Maduba, not here. So Yawi can contribute cross cutting issues under health. 
Then Nakuru Youth Bunga and Jawabu can contribute cross cutting issues under uh, agriculture, including any cross cutting. And I'm also seeing now Super is also cross cutting. So we can uh, have Jawabu Kenya replace Plan in Maduba for, this, for the purposes of this meeting. And then Super can remain with Nakuru County Youth Bunga in agriculture. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. that they can. Yeah. Their idea was to have cross at least two cross cutting organization per sector so that nothing is missed out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And my colleague Zipora, who represents on our consortium, uh, Nakuru Women Caucus, um, is also cross cutting. So she's already under health with me. So we'll, we'll she yeah. can contribute to the cross cutting issues. Zipora? Yes. That is <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Yes. And then the other issue, Daisy, that was raised by Dr. Kinoti, was some of our other consortium members uh, who may not have been participating actively because we only have two representative yes. consortium. Um, we don't know how to bring them on board uh, through this process. Um, so that's another issue that uh, we need some guidance on. Daisy, do you have an immediate response on that? Okay, I think uh, Fred and Bernard, the team leaders, have had that so that we can raise in our group so we can deal with our organization because it's a different by organization so we can bring it up we can bring that up in the in the in the team uh, breakout sessions is that okay okay that's okay i see miriam's hand is up miriam um i had daisy saying that um Yawi is uh, contributing under health kindly clarify because we feel maybe we are more comfortable with the education part Oh, that is still fine. I, it was an example that I'm saying those under cross cutting sections have been uh -huh. placed under different sectors so that they can. So if you are in women and youth, you can contribute any uh, issues that need to be contributed towards the health because now health is just specifically health. Maybe they don't have anything on youth and women. So then now, yeah, because your strength is, in, is on youth and women, you can contribute any issues in that direction. But if you feel uh, you are better in education, then yeah, why not? We can switch you with uh, Black Coffee. Are you okay? At the head. We kind of, we kind of, uh, we are overrepresented in health because Nidhi was moved to health. So maybe that's okay. okay. Yeah. Then yeah, we can just go to um, education because education, we don't have Kabazi here and we don't have uh, Nakuru County Tree Nursery. So, yes. okay, I think Victor is noting that. And um, so what will happen, Victor, you can guide us on how we will join the the different breakout sessions. We can see the links on the on the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Before, before Victor gives us that, I see Edward has his hand up. Edward, we don't want to bypass you. Yeah, Chairman, I just wanted to clarify uh, placement of Lena Madupa and the Jawabu Kenya. Is that education? No, these are cutting across sectors. So like, they remain yeah. under cutting. That, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Victor. Morning, everyone. Okay. So we are going to join our breakout session. So if you could see on the chat and on the WhatsApp group, I've shared some links where you can join in for health, agriculture, or education. So just click on that link and you'll be able to join in the breakout sessions. I've shared the oh. links on the chat and also on the WhatsApp group. I'm okay. looking at the chat now and I'm not seeing any link. Mm, how many can see? Because I can personally see. So let's. Even on the WhatsApp group? I cannot see. It's there. On the WhatsApp. Okay. 
So do we exit this main one or how does it work? Yeah. So uh, so what will happen? Um, Fred, myself, and Bernard will have the guiding questions once you 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 click on the link and the meeting will start. But I we will also share a registration link so that uh, once you join as you prepare, please there's a, a registration link that Bernard has shared. Just register so that uh, it will help us in uh, minutes. Uh, putting our records for this meeting. So once you join, you you, you click on the link, join, uh, register, and then you wait for further direction from the team leaders. They leave yes. the guiding questions that we also provided. So really, I hope you have been able to see it so that it's easy. The questions are here. So Victor will be around to just help the logistical issues. If you are not, uh, you cannot access the group, please. Victor will be available to support that. Yes, you don't need to exit this main group. You just join. It will, it will take you there. Great. I think, uh, Isaac, we can go to the different groups. And if there is no question.
When they break into groups, and uh, these are the links they are providing. And there is there is education, agriculture.
back. So, hello. I'm told the other meetings are still proceeding, but uh, I think uh, we can just, for our group, we can just proceed and uh, close the meeting. Then you can then, what we'll do internally, we'll consolidate all the feedback we've gotten from the three groups and share the, uh, the same with all members, because we might wait here for a, a few minutes but I believe we have a clear way forward and uh, we can we can end our session there. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you so much, Fred. Okay, thank you all. Okay, Chair. nice day, everyone. Oh, sorry, Chair. Yes, just before you go, I think you're also done. Are we regrouping or we are calling the meeting off? I think we can close it because uh, yeah. we'll have our meeting internally and then com oh. compile what we've gotten. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Fred. Okay, talk to Irene then. Okay. Mm -hmm.